Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are talking about stretching your watercolor paper. First of all, what is that? Basically the process of stretching your watercolor paper is when you soak your paper and then you tape it down with a special tape and then let it completely dry and it basically shrinks your paper so it prevents it from warping and buckling, which can be quite frustrating. But I get asked a lot, do I need to stretch my watercolor paper? And I'm gonna give you my opinion and it may be unpopular amongst other professional artists, but I'm gonna say no. I have personally never stretched my watercolor paper, not once, and I'm gonna tell you why. So like I said, the purpose of stretching your watercolor paper is to make sure that it lays flat and it doesn't buckle or warp. So there are times where I do paint and it does buckle or warp, but there are things you can do to flatten it after or help it stay flat during your painting. One way you can assure that it won't buckle or warp is buying a watercolor block. Wait, what is a watercolor block? A watercolor block of paper is a pad of paper that is glued down on all three sides with a little slit where you can open it after your painting is done and dried. So for example, this is kind of like a watercolor block, but it is only glued down. See how you can't open the pages? It's only glued down on the one side. A really high quality watercolor block will be glued down on all three sides. And like I said, with a little slit where you can open it. So I personally don't do that because they are super expensive. The papers are already pre-stretched, so you don't need to stretch it yourself. But like I said, it can get pretty pricey. The way I like to keep my paintings flat and straight when I'm painting without stretching my watercolor paper is just by using painter's tape. I buy cheap painter's tape from the dollar store and I tape it down on all sides and it helps keep my painting flat while in the painting process. If you've ever tried to do a landscape painting without taping it down, you may notice that your paper will start to warp during the process and then certain areas will start to pool. Taping your painting down with painter's tape will help prevent that, but it may not completely prevent it from warping afterwards. So that's where I'm gonna teach you how to flatten your watercolor paintings after you are finished. So this is something I do only if I'm actually gonna sell my artwork, which is rare, which is also why I don't stretch my watercolor paper. In my opinion, then it is an essential thing to do if you're selling your artwork or you're framing it. But like I said, I do have some ways to flatten watercolor paper and I'm gonna show you how. So before we get into that, I just want to conclude with saying it's totally up to you whether you want to stretch your watercolor paper or not. Recognize what the purpose of the painting is going to be. For me, I don't always know if what I'm painting is going to be framed or sold or if I'm even going to like it. There have been many times where I've painted a decent sized painting and I've ended up just having to toss it out because I did not like it at all anyway. And if I had to go through the whole stretching watercolor paper process before painting that, that I just ended up throwing out, I would be completely annoyed. So that's why I flat my watercolor paper after, but it's definitely up to you. You will see in other artists' videos that they believe that stretching your watercolor paper is an essential part of watercolor painting. But again, I think it's all up to you and what you're using it for. So now that you know my personal opinion about it, let's get into flattening our watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first way you can flatten your artwork. So looking at the side of this, you can see it's fairly warped. Does not lay flat at all. That's because I used a lot of water. I even taped it down, but I did use a lot of water on this. So to flatten this, what I find one of the easiest ways to do is I'll get like a board, just like this is an arches pad, but just a piece of cardboard that has no coloring on it, no black or anything like that. And I'll just put it face down and I'll take a little spray bottle. So just, I have this little spray bottle with water and I'm gonna spray the whole back. So it's nice and damp, not soaking wet, but just evenly. My dog's throwing a fit in the background, sorry. Okay. And then all I'll do is take another one of these boards or cardboard or something like that, that's flat. And then I'll find another board that is flat. So I just have another pad here and I'm gonna press it down and I'm gonna put it under heavy books for the night. And I'll show you what it looks like in the morning. Okay, so here is the same painting and you can see it's much flatter. It's not completely flat. You could always do it again. I could have sprayed it at the back up here just a bit more, but already framing this would be so much easier. See the difference? 
it's pretty flat. And that's just by spraying the back with water and placing it under a flat object under something really heavy for the night. And the second way to flatten your watercolor paper is with an actual iron. So I don't actually have our iron anymore. I think I lost it in the move. So I can't show you that trick right now, but I did shoot a video last year of me flattening watercolor paper with an iron. So I am gonna link that video right down below so you can check out how to flatten it with an iron as well. I believe all you need is like a tea towel, kind of really thin cloth and your iron and a flat surface. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember that do what is best for you. If stretching your watercolor paper is something you're interested, by all means, please do it. If you don't have the tools and you're not as into it, flatten it some other way or don't flatten it at all. Just remember, these are your paintings. This is your way of doing things. Don't let anybody tell you whether you're doing it right or wrong. Do it your own way with whatever you have. And that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.